Hello everybody and a very warm welcome back to Town in North Eastern. And I hope you're all keeping safe and well. And uh, I hope you're ready for another um, episode of Building Time Dock Station. Now as you've just seen, um, we've got the rail car which just crossed the junction and passed through the station. And um, we have the V2 here just sitting waiting for the green to go and um, yeah and still there's no passengers getting on and off the trains so what is going on maybe I have to complete the ticket office so let's head over to the bench and see what we can do about that yeah, we're back at the bench and I think I know why we're not getting any passengers um, at Tank Dock Station. I think it's because we've got no equipment in the booking office. And um, I know in the last video I said that the counter was level with the windows. Well, it's not quite, so I've made a new counter to go on top of the chest of drawers that's in the ticket office and um, the equipment that is missing is some ticket stamping machines I'm thinking to myself so what I've done here is I've got a toothpick and I've measured 5 mil segments and I've just scored it with a blade just like that just to get ready for cutting it after I've finished making these ticket stamping machines. Now, although I've got four segments on there, I'm only going to use three of them. And I've cut some little tiny pieces of paper here. 1.5 by 2 mil. And all I've got to do is stick one of them on each one of them. Paint it um, silver. But I have seen these ticket stamping machines in green and I've also seen them um, in, on, in red as well. So I'll probably paint these green and paint these little tiny bits of paper silver. So first thing I'll do is a little drop of super glue onto this piece of paper here and get my toothpick a little bit of super glue. I'm going to be in the middle of each one of these and then pick up a tiny piece of paper and just stick it just about there, not quite to the top but there and then let the super glue do its work and then keep on going so if we know we've got three windows in the booking office, so I've made four here, so I'll probably have a spare ticket stamping machine. I'll manipulate that in place before the super glue goes off, because sometimes it goes off really quick. And then we'll keep on going until we've got all four pieces of paper on this tiny piece of toothpick. I remember when I did sew shields, the first ones I made, the first ticket stamping machines I made were made from screws. Really, really tiny screws, but uh, obviously we've moved on a little bit and gone on to using toothpicks. So there we are, just stick that one in place. So what we'll do, we'll let, give it a chance for the old super glue to do its stuff and then I can paint these together and this you know that one hasn't taken so we'll give that another shot super glue and we'll give that another go flip it over It's 
So we'll let those dry. And then the beauty about doing it on a toothpick like this is I can hold this end of the toothpick and I paint the uh, toothpick and then uh, cut them all off individually. So that's my ticket machine or chick ticket stamping machines. Well that didn't take long. Maybe this is what Sid is waiting for. His ticket stamping machines. Right, so now I shall glue this into the ticket office. Moving on a little bit. Um, as you can see, I have now finished decorating and detailing the ticket office um, for now. And uh, it's time to add the ceiling. So we'll do that, we'll add the ceiling and then we shall see what's left to do in the other two rooms. That's the ceiling now fitted and glued in place and I've actually put in the LED there ready and as you can see I've added some notice boards and other little details uh, in the ticket office. So if we move up a little bit to the next room, this is Sid's office as you can see you've got uh, Robert Stevenson on the wall there and there's still a little bit of room there for more paintings etc. But uh, that will come just before we finish off the rooms. And now we move up to the ladies. And uh, as you can see, we've finished the decoration, but there's one more job left to do, and that's to add the sinks and taps uh, to finish off. And then I think we can put the ceiling into that room. And then we move on to the next room which is the waiting room and that has now been decorated as well a few additional little details to add there clocks and pictures as well to go on the walls so it may seem like deja vu because i've done this before for the gents but this time i've added a copper waste pipe on the bottom of the sink there as you can see um, I already made the taps uh, in advance when I did the gents, so I made a few extras for of that. So all I've got to do here is just paint the sink up white and then we can glue this into the ladies. So that That's the sinks and mirrors completed. Um, we'll have a proper look at those in a minute because they're still a bit damp. So what I'm going to attempt to do is make something new for the um, ladies and that's towel dispensers so you need two strips of card at 4mm one piece 2mm thick one piece 1mm thick notice that I've chamfered the end very very slightly on both ends because I want to make two of these um, to form the um, towel dispensers so we can do a little bit of glue down there and uh, we shall glue that little piece of towel I've got. Now this is just an ordinary kitchen towel and it's wafer wafer thin and the idea is to have a little bit hanging over the ends so we shall gently glue this in situ stretch it a little bit if we can and just wait for the glue to take hold so yes, yeah, so that's kitchen towel. Um, there's normally two layers on a kitchen towel, so I just peel it apart and then just use the one of those layers. Notice now. Let's just let that dry a little bit, and then we put a little bit of glue on the two mil card. Now you're probably wondering why is it so long? It's so I can handle the pieces until I finish painting them and doing what I have to do with them because I only want the ends. So 
So what I'll do now is I'll paint about that much either end, about six to seven mil either end in white. And then once the paint's dry, I'll just cut that off of there. Cut the towel so it's just a little bit hanging out. And then we've got our towel dispensers once these are glued to the walls. One other thing I've done with these towel dispensers is I've put some super glue on the sides because um, you can see we've got card edges. So if you put super glue on the on the sides before you paint it, it hides the edges and it makes it look like a, a box once it's painted. So I'll just push that back and then paint along the back there. And I think the men's or the gents is going to be very, very jealous of the ladies because they've got hand towels and the gents haven't. And it's a bit late to do this to the gents because the roof and, well, the ceiling and the uh, floor is already in on the gents. So I do apologise that for gents, but I'm sure Sid um, can sort that one out. So there we go, so that's what it looks like. Now it doesn't look like much, but once I cut the tip off and cut that little tiny piece of towel down, it will look like a towel dispenser. This is what it looks like with all the utilities in the ladies with the sinks, mirrors, and now towel dispensers. So you can see, if you look closely, you can see the little tiny bits of towel hanging down, ready to be pulled. So that's, that done. As obviously we're looking at it from below. I'm going to see if we can get a view from the top. And this is what it looks like from the top. Um, it, as you can see, I have painted the tops of the dispensers in silver. Um, I did that once I glued them onto the walls. And uh, yeah. So it's another room now that needs its ceiling putting in. And next up is the waiting room. Uh, there's not a lot I can do in there. It's already been decorated, but there is one thing missing, and that's the clock on that wall. So I shall put a clock on that wall and maybe a few pictures um, scattered around the place. And then we can put the ceiling on that one. This is probably one of my favourite parts of making buildings and that's adding the lighting um, because basically it brings the building to life. So what I've done there, I've just done as I've done many times before, tinned the cables with a bit of flux, some solder. And I've already got my heat shrink in place. So what I've got to do now is trim the short tab because I've already got the resistor on the live. So I'll just trim the short tab, which is the neutral. Add a little bit of flux on there and on there. And we can solder these together. The red onto the resistor, of course. And the neutral onto the for a few seconds and then it's a case of putting the heat shrink over the joint and putting a bit of heat on the heat shrink to make sure
that stays over the joint. So this building now is almost at the same stage as the other building. Um, still got to do the finishing touches to the outside. That's the the brickwork over the windows and doors and the lower brickwork around the building. And then we're at the same stage as building number two. I'll just bring those cables in. Any slack can stay there. Make sure you've got no bits of solder in and around the area because that will create a short. Now that the ceilings are all in and all the cables are connected up for the four rooms, it's time to bring this building up to the same condition as the other building. What I mean by that is fin finishing off with all the brick uh, lintels and sills and the brick stone around the base of the building to give it the same characteristics as this one. So that's where we are um, and we shall see how far we can get on towards the end of the week. So for the base I'm using three rows of the blue brick that you find in the Medcalf kit and as for the sills and wind, uh, sills and lintels it's uh, this um, which you find in the old set of Medcalf kits and uh, this should then finish off this building. Bear in mind you've got to keep it flush with the bottom so that you don't uh, offset the building and let any light show through. Which uh, sometimes is easier said than done. Well it took a while and we finally got there so that's the sills, lintels and the uh, baseline bricks here all completed on this building. So this now is on the same level as the other building. So what I'm doing now is I'm making a wall which will go in front of the gents entrance um, so that you can't accidentally see in if the door is open. So I've made it uh, with two pieces of two mil card so that brings the thickness up to 4mm. Um, I've surrounded it with brick paper than the usual um, lower uh, fascia stones if you like. Or, yeah. And then I'm just going to add a little piece of paper to go around the top here. And then that will be painted in the same colour that I've been doing all the stonework on. Then I'm just going to cap it off with a couple of pieces of card and then this will be permanently stuck to the platform so it will give me uh, a datum point on where to line the buildings up so uh, yeah, so that's where we are at the moment and uh, I'm just about to glue that piece of paper on and, uh, It's already been trimmed so I've just got to just glue it on there really and uh, just little simple things like this. It's all these little details that add up for the final build of the build. So I just place that on the edge. You've got no room for error with this paper because it dries ever so quick and then we just wrap it around it's keeping it flush to the top and hopefully the joint will meet in the middle.
so he says. Oh, that's close. That's close. Yep, so the colour I'll be using for that is the 196. So I shall put a couple of pieces of card on to form the cap and stars and then I'll paint this up. And here we are, we're back at Town Dog Station. And as you can see, both buildings are back on the platform. And there's that wall we've just made. Uh, Waste time using this, can my fingers are in the way. Um, yeah, so the wall's got its plinth on, and uh, I have weathered along the plinths um, on the buildings and on that wall as well. So that's uh, that little job finished. And if we move along the building, we can see other little things I've done to keep it in line with the main building. Um, as you see, I've terminated all the cables and have been tested and it worked. And we've got a pair of cables there waiting for the supply to come from the main building. And as you can see, all the LEDs are working on the main building, which is a good sign. And uh, let's have a little look, see if we can see any of that detail that we've been putting in. So we'll start with a ticket office and uh, we'll see what we can see there if we can just hold the camera steady and we can make out the ticket machine and the drawers just about and uh, there's Sid's office and uh, that's all nicely decorated now the ladies well we know what's in the ladies and I don't think we're going to see much of that anyway. And the quiet room of the station and that's the little waiting room. So all the decoration um, has been done for inside all the rooms. So both buildings now are at the same level ready for the next phase of this build which is good so we've uh, managed to do quite a bit this week so talking about uh, this week i think that's all from me um thanks again for your patience and thanks again for watching stay safe everybody and we'll see you again soon bye for now bye